Anomalies have been found in EPA data that found elevated lead and copper levels in the water system on St. Croix. This data could indicate that concerns over widespread high levels of lead and copper are unfounded. The APA has been working collaboratively with WAPA and the Virgin Islands government to test the quality of St. Croix's potable water system. Governor Bryan and members of the territory's unified command were informed late Wednesday night of the result of the EPA's early November sequential testing and shared those results. This information was shared with the community during a weekly news briefing. The comprehensive analysis indicated that concerns of over widespread elevated levels of lead and copper in the water system perhaps may be unfounded. This finding aligns with initial assessments by the Department of Planning and Natural Resources and the Water and Power Authority suggesting anomalies in earlier data. To find the sources of lead and copper in the water system in those areas identified in St. Croix. As a result of the Virgin Island government's proactive stance in addition to water sampling, the VI Department of Health has been conducting outreach and testing to determine baseline blood lead levels for St. Croix children between the ages of zero and six years old. Children and pregnant women are most affected by the presence of lead in drinking water. Governor Bryan shared his reaction to this newly acquired information, saying the work of ensuring the safety of Virgin Islanders continues. He said, quote, the well-being of our community is paramount. While these results are encouraging, our work continues. We are actively collaborating with FEMA and other federal partners to refine testing protocols and ensure accurate assessments moving forward.